I think it's so important now that newly diagnosed patients understand that there's a lot of hope to be had. You know, because I've, I've heard stories, uh, people coming away from clinics around the world, hearing the same things that my first patient heard from my attending, that we don't know what causes this, there's nothing we can do, go home and get your affairs in order. That's totally wrong. We understand a lot more about the causes of ALS now. We have a lot of things we can do. And, you know, the, the progression of the disease is so different from person to person. You know, there's no way for a newly diagnosed person to know what the future holds. You know, you can say what the average person with ALS does, but that may not be them. And, you know, there's examples of people whose ALS stopped progressing and 48 examples of people who actually got better from ALS. And here at Duke, I'm carefully studying these 48 ALS reversals. I'm studying their genetics, their environmental exposures, their microbiome. I'm getting ready to do a project with ALS TDI to study some of the, um, the downstream uh, beyond the genetic uh, processes that occur like the RNA and, and, and proteomics of these patients. Um, we are doing clinical trials of some of the treatments associated with these ALS reversals. We did a trial of something called Lunacin Unfortunately, it didn't reverse anyone's ALS, but in that trial, we learned that we can do trials in a different way when we're looking for a giant effect like an ALS reversal. We can make trials easy to get into. We don't need a lot of inclusion criteria. We can do trials that are entirely virtual. We can teach people to measure things in, in themselves, and we can teach them to enter their data on a website called Patients Like Me. And the advantage of that is saves a lot of time and money but also the results of the trial are available to everyone in the world in real time. You don't have to wait years to see what's going on with one of our um, replication of ALS reversal trials. And so Farrah Kerman is now the agent that we have in trials to see if we can reverse anyone else's ALS. Um, but I, I continue to be you know, very excited, very hopeful about the future. And I, I always tell Stacy, she's always asking me, when are you gonna retire? You know, you, you're getting so old. And I tell her, you know, as long as I still get up every day and I'm excited to come to work, I'm excited about the people I'm working with and the things I'm working on. And as long as I'm still hopeful that someday I'll be able to stop or reverse this, I'm going to keep at it.